Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. I'm glad to be here with the boys. Looking forward to some nice, wholesome conversations. Little Z. Uploaded a non-Smash video today, and it's not a 10 out of 10. Pop it one. Yeah, I watched this point. That is my new favorite Little Z video. Well done. And director Kong. Pop up pirates! <laughs> <laughs> Tell the story about pop up pirates. Just anyone. a little preview of what's to come in the future, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> pop up pirates. I don't think we need to tell the story. We'll tell the story in the video. Just yeah. get them. Just give them a little bit of a tug and see how they're going. And then yeah. <laughs> the game. Nice. I mean. Yeah, the game pop up pirates to be played, to be played. on the Underdogs channel on yes. the gaming channel. On the gaming channel. It's a I, gaming meme. We should release it on all three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't even know this game Including good. the Patreon. <laughs> yeah. That's insane that that's your favorite video of mine when you don't even know anything about Pokemon. That's half of the thing. No, but it's the chess. Well, I think you made it good so you didn't need to know about Pokemon anyway. And it was funny. Yeah, so I think real, was, real quick, it's a Pokemon chess video. I didn't say that. Oh, yeah. yeah Zach made a Pokemon chess video. Also, the editing was just like extreme. Like Thanks, really, man. really good. Yeah, it was very good. There were some great moments of just like... <laughs> I don't know, just cutting to... Oh, I don't want to spoil it, actually. Nah, just go watch the video. <laughs> Good time to get out of Smash Bros. content, though, hey? Yep. Oh, with you BTS, see? Beyond yeah. the Summit. Mm. Apparently, then way more than just Smash. Their main thing's like Dota, apparently. Well, not just that, but even for Smash, they stream like a third of all tournaments, maybe yeah, more. Yeah, they're like, a huge, um, complete company. Mm. Reading more about it, they got staff and everything. And essentially, they got stuff for a company. <laughs> no, but like full time, like it's more than us. Wages and everything, and like a HR team. What even is that? I don't know. But um, so, so should they, we get an HR team? I think Jordan might need one. <laughs> what I, is Jordan going? I'm Jordan's, Jordan's HR team. Like you he are. says things, and then I translate them into human speak. <laughs> Isn't it something it's about human health? relations? Human. Okay. I love how you say that, but you're also probably the biggest thing we need HR for. Wait, is it re- it's resources, yeah. Resources. I was going to correct you, and then I was like, maybe I'm wrong. Human resources. You bullying Jordan is why we need an HR rep. Yeah, I reckon Jordan, Jordan would take me to HR, and I'd be like, I am HR! <laughs> Wait, anyway, back on the story. Yeah, so essentially what has happened... Honestly, I read, there was a big post. It was mainly like a lot of thank yous and everything. Essentially what's happened is uh, they've been going for like 11 years, and they're just not financially viable anymore it looks like and so they're just wanting to cut the cord early so they can still pay out all their staff and everything and give them lots of leave instead of oh uh, yeah sure trying to like save the company yeah. um they didn't go into details on the specifics of why they're economically not doing well so, so should we speculate yeah well, well, just they, did that they change the summit they did that you change know, yeah. do you remember that so they changed it before it used to be Everyone pays money to get in. You get as many votes as you want, the more you pay to get people into Summit. Yeah. Then people... So, I think the problem with that was, like, people could drop, like, $50,000 bombs and just get a player guaranteed in, like, big organisations. People yeah. were complaining that it was pay to win. So then they removed that. Now they're... Of course they it is. Paid to lose. <laughs> <laughs> now they're not paying to lose. Yeah. It's like, you can pay for votes. Oh, no, it's pay to win. Yeah. What did you expect? <laughs> yeah. I, I, like, I'm so confused by this. I, like, every time Summit rolls around, I, I tweeted out last week, I was like, every time I see Summit, it's like capitalist dystopia vibes. Because mm-hmm. everyone gets so upset about it, and yeah. everyone's like, vote for this person, vote for this person, and then they start hating on other people yeah. and being rude. And I'm just like, this is so over the top. Yeah. And like, I think uh, the thing is people wanted it to be more of a, Less of a popularity contest and more of a skill contest was the summit was the argument. But you just invite the best players then. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that. that every other tournament? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, so they every wanted tournament a business is a skill strategy. contest. But it's like the one chance to get unknown players that are hype or like you know fan favorites from regions where they can't afford to like travel. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then yeah. So I don't know if that's the sole reason or there's probably a lot of other reasons, but yeah, apparently they've just. Wanted to be like, cut it now. Everyone gets paid, and then that's it. What if Disney had like an esports team, and then every summit they're just like, oh yeah, drop a cool two hundred k to get them in. But that's like they wouldn't fine. give it. They wouldn't fucking care. Yeah, I don't think that's a that's problem. fine. And then this organization can run really good stuff with that money if they yeah. want to. Like, no, I'm mm-hmm. saying it is fine, but it's like esports yeah. companies don't really have the means to do that. Except for I think 
I think there was one time it caused a controversy. Was it Liquid? That, no, Moist did a massive bomb, maybe. I can't remember. Did they? One of the companies. To, to get a player in. Yeah, but that's not really sustainable because esports companies in general are just like so hard to turn a profit. That's what everyone's been talking about. Yeah, I think with. there's only two or three that are profitable. And have you guys and the seen rest are all, unprofitable. all the Smash players have been getting dropped recently as well by no. their organizations? Yeah, sure. So Tweak... Uh, I, I don't know if they oh, get see that. dropped by that organization. They never specify, yeah. but they just say, it's been awesome, but my time with this yeah, organization yeah, yeah. is coming oh, to MK an Leo's end. MKLeo's out of so his team. Tweaks mm-hmm. out, MKLeo's out. I'm sure that it's the people letting them go. They never specify, but mm-hmm. I don't think they would choose to leave because now they're saying like free agent and it's like, this was like the best organization. You wouldn't choose to leave unless yeah. something bad went down, which is possible. Yeah. But I, I assume that it's Smash is not profitable. It seems to be in all these different facets that that's what it's pointing to, right? Definitely seems like that. Smash. <laughs> 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 that's my thoughts. <laughs> I, I literally have never... I've never really known how Smash was ever profitable outside of YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think it's not. I think that's what's <laughs> happening. And then and you then see they, like TC Nick's doing so well with Smash at the moment. Oh, and crazy. So there's like still obviously the audience there is just not so much competitive. And even so, like they're not making enough money off the sponsors or whatever. I think competitive has just never been a good viewing experience, especially for casuals. Because even as a hardcore competitor, it's just like, I'm not going to watch a whole tournament. What's this, Sonic and Villager? <laughs> you know, there's yeah. just a few matchups every now and then. The whole tournament goes for so long. It's hard to keep up with storylines. There's never epic grand finals. Other than I feel like Summit did bring that. I feel like Summit was the best Smash viewing experience. So that's a bit... But they had like, to see you know, go. celebrity commentators and stuff. And like, you know, they had like special guests they and did, stuff. Actually? Like, yeah, did, like did people get... like like Ludwig and stuff would oh, go right. on. Not like, you know, like Sorry, mainstream I thought, celebrities. I thought Brad Pitt was talking about <laughs> Smash Bros. <laughs> Dude, do you think he mains Pitt? Yeah, he does for sure. Yeah. Or Dark Pitt. Get Morgan Freeman on the comms to like really oh, smooth oh, voice. Man. Brad Dark Imagine. Pitt. <laughs> Anyone got a good, uh, good Morgan Freeman nope. voice? Uh, yeah, I feel like you do. No, I definitely I, d- don't. I definitely have a Morgan Freeman Yeah, yeah, let's hear it. Say, Zach's Zach's the the most um, Say nice back air. <laughs> when I met Andy Dufresne, uh, the came to prison. That's- <laughs> Is that the guy with the chocolates? No, no that- that's chocolates. Forrest Gump. Yeah, that sounded, <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like that. Oh, yeah, I kind Tom of Hanks. Was, I was doing a bit of a Tom Hanks. Laugh yeah. like a box of chocolates. <laughs> like- anyway. Can you just say nice back air and we can move on? <laughs> Nice back air. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like... No, that's pretty good. It's, I swear it's sounding it's like forest gum. Nice yeah. back air. It does sound a lot like... Forest gum. Sounds like a black forest They're gum. both American. Let's all just move on. But anyway, Yeah, you smash. better be careful about being cancelled being a white man trying to voice Morgan Freeman. That's true. I did, I did just... But I, I did watch a Jubilee video, which was undercover white guy among six uh, black guys. It was crazy. What? He and he... Yeah, they were all blindfolded and he like... Because his upbringing was like he got adopted into uh-huh. a black like, family, and so his oh, voice was exactly cheating. the same. Yeah, Wait, what cheating. is Jubilee? Uh, it's the it's the channel that does like the fake fake person. Like, oh, the, can you pick the fake? Yeah, one? the yeah. thing that we tried to copy and then it turned and then it, it failed. Turned, that was fun. Uh, yeah, but yeah, and that was actually crazy. So it turns out that it's not really genetics; it's just your upbringing that makes your voice like that. That makes sense. Therefore, it's not. Is it? No, it's still cultural appropriation. Yeah, but it's not racist. So BTS. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, there's not much more to talk about. That's other Peter's than that. tweet longer. <laughs> <laughs> A statement on my Morgan Freeman voice. <laughs> Read more tweet long. <laughs> it's culture appropriation, but it's not racist. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't need a tweet longer. <laughs> oh, this shit. is just a random option. I suppose I should probably move on, but I, I can't help myself. Here we go. If you, you can do any accent you want, as long as they're white, as a white person. Yeah, that's oh, correct. Yeah. Like it's offensive you can do your for culture. me to do anything that's not, but I could do Irish. Yeah, you European, Scottish. anything there is good. But I don't want to, but ah, I can. Okay. He'll stick to Morgan Freeman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, BTS, anyone? No, I was just going to talk about like the future of Smash in general. Oh, How yeah. It's getting dark. It's looking so grim. Yeah. Panda was kind of the first domino to fall. It was like- Oh, no. I mean, the, all the allegations and stuff earlier. Oh, was, okay. It's always been on a- That's true. 
Oh, you think that's then. what started it? Makes sense. I guess I mean the yeah. recent downfall. It's like every time we're nearly at the top of the like peak of Smash, like, oh, maybe we'll actually like become big, become an esport. Yeah. Like Nintendo's sponsoring this one. Wow, maybe it'll happen. We got the Smash World Tour and the Panda Cup. And then it just all shit hits the fan every time. Yeah. It's like just, Jenga, dude. Like every time, like you, you try to put a piece on yeah. top, but you're just the tower's gonna True. tumble yeah. one day. It's pretty scary. And then Nintendo comes in and like smacks the table. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, no. I think the best thing was, uh, do you remember back in Smash 4, the 2GG championship when they had yeah. each major, you got points from the few majors oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then there was the grand final at the end. I think that's the best way to do it. Problem was that was Smash 4 though, wasn't it? Yeah, but do, do you guys remember that? That was like hype because it's like I mean, every I- major was like for points. And was that more hype because I just cared about Smash? No, nah, it was because it was like it was like a a storyline you could follow. Uh, I think sure. that's the problem with Smash. There's no easy to follow storyline situation. Well, that's why people like melee so much because like the it's so worked out that like the best players don't lose to the worst players. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. But easy. we just have like random Steve Main sixty seven who just rolls up and yep. just knocks someone off their perch, and you're like, what the hell? Yo, hmm. do they have ladders in games like Valorant and Overwatch, and when they do tournaments like that? A ladder. Oh, sorry. Like a thought, like, yeah. well, like the ones ladders. at 75M, the ladders you can climb up. Yeah, I was just thinking about <laughs> climbing up. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no, like, like a football, like ladder. football ladder. Yeah, in like Overwatch and, League. And it's seasons, like a league. They do. The leagues have Do they? Stuff Why like do that. I do that for Smash? That's a way better system. But then you need teams. Mm, do you? Well, you can't have every single person on a ladder because then where does... I'll just take the 16 best people. And then it's like a draft. Well, so that's if, what it was. So yeah, two MK two Leo's on top this year. Then all the other players get to pick like better controllers than him the next year. <laughs> so he's, oh, he's it's like the drafting the, system. Yeah, like, like <laughs> drafting. You pick your controllers. You know, so in s- typical sports, it's like just the, a league, it's the, a good idea. Yeah, the teams that win get the like last pick for the next year's draft. So the next year, MK Leo's left with like a single Joy-Con. Everyone else picks a better controller. Yeah, you know the guy at the top's got freaking notches, and <laughs> he, might, he might have like a turbo oh. button. Oh, so this is like race horses, and they start with like extra weights yeah, on them yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, and then we only really need 16 good players any more is just too many yeah, to follow I think they just need a UFC scenario they should just follow the same thing and it's just like tonight MK Leo fights Tweak for the championship and yeah. then they play one big first to ten yeah. and then they don't play again for like a month that'd be sick and they get a new whoever's been winning the locals comes next to challenge well that's the difference between it being a spectator experience and a grassroots experience you know what I mean because <laughs> like not a spectator experience Overwatch for example because like Overwatch has Overwatch League and like you need to get picked up by a team and you're in that team. Nobody who's playing competitive being is like, oh, if I win enough competitive matches, I'll be on the Overwatch League team. Like they're separate things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas for us, it's like you go to your local tournament. It's like, if I do well enough, I'll go in this. There's no there's nothing more. separate bigger <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like it's just, yeah. that's like the difference between the league and whatever. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about it. Because yeah, it's just like a tournament's on, it's like eight out no, way more than eight, eight hours for two days of like just constant games. You're like, who's this playing? I don't know, what's this? Yeah, I'm not watching But that you shit. need yeah. all the shitters to pay for the tournament because it is grassroots. Like you can't be like, oh, we're only going to have 16 people because then like, where's the money? For the Crosses. record, we are the shitters. Yeah, just for of the course. record. <laughs> we don't say it as a defensive term. <laughs> But yeah. The, at, at every tournament, isn't a, a stat like half or a quarter of the people will go O2? It's 50%, th- I think. No, a third. Oh, is that right? A third go O2 and then the another. Yeah, but it's like, yeah, half the tournament's out in like 30 minutes. Yeah. And then yeah. that's it. And then think of how much money they make off like half the people. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> so, if you take them out, then. But if you, you made it more of a spectator money. experience, then you could get sponsors. Here's, okay, here's where you get the good players to put their money where their mouth is. You know how they're always like, extra $5 venue fee. Come on, guys. It'd add to the pot. Charge the top players like an extra $1,000 venue fee. Genius. Give it all to the person that wins. Give them some incentive. Putting their money where their mouth is. So everyone has to pay $1,000. I don't think the top players just have that much money flying around, though. <laughs> Esports if man, there's no s- fix. If you're spending all day <laughs> playing Smash, you don't roll it in the cash. I tried to come up with the perfect solution and nothing works. It's yeah, it's sponsors. That's sponsors, literally yeah. advertising, putting good viewer experience together. Get and Ludwig it's just to call Mister Beast. Yep, and yeah. then then we're done. That's the real solution. Yeah, surely they need to get rid of all the bad characters as well. That's as well. I, was I think Steve that. is getting. Oh, Apparently, so yeah. when, Which when is you good. um, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But mm. just when you were talking about like a Sonic match in a tournament, it just like makes you click off. They got to get rid of all those characters. 
a game with like 20 characters and you yeah. want to watch every single match of a tournament, that'd be so cool. Yeah, I think you just vote the best like 20 or 15 well, characters. Like, and then that, you can only play them. Yeah. In Melee, which characters are cringe to watch? No. Apart from maybe Ice Puff. Climbers. Jigglypuff and Jigglypuff. Jiggly yeah. Depends on the matchup, but yeah. And yeah, it's, it's true. I guess Melee is so exciting. Yeah, and then it's just like you Sometimes. load up Smash Ultimate and there's like legitimately 30. Yeah. At least that I don't want to watch. Yeah. And that's as someone who loves Smash Bros, yeah. does YouTube videos on it, enters tournaments for, for it. So let like someone like, who wants to casually is mm, like no shot. I can appreciate the nuance of them to some degree, mm. even though I still hate it, but I can at least appreciate it a little bit. But like, to, oh man, there's so many bad ones. Yeah. All right, here's our solution. We make a league. Right. It's closed. But, 16 mm-hmm. teams. Yeah. Countries. Oh, the country oh. puts in a team. That's oh. cool. And then that's what it is. So each country has a team. So you can go for your country. That's yep. like, you know, so Patriotic. you have something to cheer for. Mm-hmm. It's good. We make a special list of characters you're allowed to play. There's only like 20 of them because otherwise people don't understand the characters. If you're watching, you need to like even get rid of the cringe ones and then narrow it down even more. Yep. Get, mm-hmm. get Call up Mr. Beast. I'll hit him up. I'll slide into his DMs. I'm sure we'll respond. Thank you. And then we've created a spectator sport. What's the Australian team? You know how they always have names like our soccer teams, the Socceroos? Oh, yeah. And you have like, what's, oh, what's our smash name? name? I just realized the Cunnies. how good that name is. The what? The Cunnies. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Okay. Is Australian? Cunnies is the leader. The like, Australia just Cunnies. my yeah. mind that it's Socceroos, like soccer and kangaroos. Dude, I never wait till he hears about the hockey roos. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it's called? Yes. <laughs> the Smasheroos. Guys, real quick fun fact. My auntie's ex was the goalkeeper for the hockey roos and won a gold medal at the Olympics. Wow. Pretty cool. That is a fun Damn. fact. Yeah. Very nice. Can't bring up hockey roos without <laughs> putting that one in. <laughs> Let's just be the Smasheroos. Yeah, How about the Smasheroos? Smasher Burrows. Smasher Burrows. How about the Smasher Pusses? Ooh. Smasher Pusses. That sounds so, so much like Octopus, but it's meant to be Platypus. And also it's like smashing a puss. Yeah. Just I like that though. Smashing. Oh, that's what we like about <laughs> it. <laughs> It would be pretty funny to see USA versus Smasher Puss. <laughs> it's like five Aussies walk out of the stage and get beaten so badly. <laughs> At least we have the funny name. <laughs> Smasher Puss has been 5 0 in record time. God damn. Maybe we'll get Smash Boxing, then we might have a shot. Oh, yeah, maybe. true. Can you picture how much the Australian Smash community would hate us if we somehow coined the term Smasher Puss <laughs> and then all our competitive players, like we have nothing to do with them. We just give them this terrible. Name. Just uh, while we're on Smash, we yeah. probably should talk about Steve looking to get banned. Yeah. Has I, already been banned in a few areas. Honestly, God, I deleted Twitter off my phone, so I was not up to date on the news at all. Good call. I literally found out yesterday because I went to the Smash tournament for the first time in a while, and people were like, oh, Steve is going to get banned. I was like, what? Is he banned here? But it, Not yet, apparently, but not a play Steve here, oh, okay. so it's fine. But and it's, nobody's good enough to employ his tech yeah, here yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's just like there's this new... Bug? Zach might be able to explain it. Yeah, better, if, if you've been living under a bit of cobblestone, <laughs> a little bit of Minecraft joke. It's got me good. Yeah, Peter laughed. He just had his microphone down as well, guys. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just to clarify, guys, it was funny. It Do you want to try it again and we can edit the last one? No, no, I'll laugh this time into All the right. mic. Say it again. All right. Uh, in case you've been living under a bit of cobblestone. Guys, we could have got <laughs> we so good. Why did you tell me the plan? You, <laughs> you couldn't tell me the plan. You should have given us a wink. You should have Steve winked. has new tech, mm-hmm. which people always say, I think it's just Hungrybox, they say he gets buffed every 48 hours. I hate that joke. But uh, it's kind of true. They keep discovering new broken tech. This new one is kind of game-breaking. They figured out a way for him to cancel hit stun, so you just can't combo or multi hit him. Yeah. If they like, I think it's like it's any spam. move that doesn't send you into tumble. Right. You can yeah. cancel it, knock back, and hit so stun. So any off. multi hits you get out of. Like, Sorry. So, yeah. so it's more low percent, but it's low percent or multi hit. So like, let's say a link up smash hits you, you just mine cart them during the move. <laughs> like, That's pretty alpha. Okay, bye. Yeah. I think it works by you mashing like to make a block and then it like can't make a block but it takes you out of the animation and then you... It's, yeah, so do with buffering and a block and something like that. Yeah, and then really you anvil or something on their head. It's probably kind of hard but also <laughs> I've seen people making tweets like I tried this for 10 minutes and I already did it. It's replicatable. It's yeah. not like just happens like once in a blue moon. It is replicatable to some degree. So then people were talking about banning the tech and then I think that's a better idea myself. That seems yeah. impossible to police. But there's then lots of tech that's banned in Melee. Yeah, I guess so. Wobbling and stuff. That's true. Yeah, like they banned wobbling. They but banned that seems, this one seems, and I haven't seen it, like it'd be a bit harder to, like, was that that or did I just fall out? Do you know what I mean? Or is it not like that? Uh, it's pretty obvious. You just okay. stop flying away. Yeah. 
I haven't looked at it yet either, so I don't know. I haven't then seen if it. If it's a move like Zero Suit Up Smash, did they use the tech or did you just fall out? Yeah, that's what that I mean. Like, sucks. I'm just yeah. picturing a lot of bad multi hit moves. Like, did I? What <laughs> then happened? You, you use LRA star when they fall out of your move. You're like, uh, actually, Cheater. that's yeah. not allowed. <laughs> yeah. So I saw this one tournament that people were clowning on because it's kind of like on the TOs are like, oh no, this is going to be such a nightmare if they yeah. try to ban the tech. This one tournament was like, we have the solution. Here's the rules. If you think the block tech is taking place, immediately quit the match and save the replay. A TO will come over and check what? the match. Oh, the winner, no. like, if you if they did use the tech, you won. You win the match. If they didn't use the tech, you lose the match. That's, That's pretty right. funny. I love that. But That's also, exciting. like, what TO comes over and then like imagine like four people at once are all like, no, nope, fell out of my move. Like, let's just double check, save the replay. But Zach, think of the entertainment we're adding. We're saving the smash here, you know? That's it's pretty exciting. funny. Like, oh, see, save the replay. What's going to happen? Yeah, Everyone's save the replay. Watching. Sirens and go yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fireworks <laughs> happen if it did work and you get your call right. Everyone <laughs> gathers around the screen. Yeah. Like the entire tournament organization group. Yeah, it's like a sports review, like tennis or like yeah, cricket, where yeah. they like check where the ball was. They send it to we the need third umpire. That's, yeah. exa- that's sick. I'm, I'm all for what that. What about umpires for other things in Smash? Like when your move like doesn't connect but, but it it's not against a Steve but it should have oh, or, they like, have to or your air dodge should have grabbed the ledge yep. you like you get an umpire to come over he's like yeah that should have worked <laughs> should have <laughs> so you're dog, good yeah. reset the match <laughs> kind of the difference between video games and sports yeah. isn't it there's not a lot of grey area if you were meant to grab the ledge in a video game you'll probably grab the ledge yeah <laughs> Sports. It's kind of the game, but I mean, sports is a bit uh, subjective. Isn't that that um, the why Melee as a spectator sport video talks about this concept? I don't know. Sorry, it's very boring, that. but it's like, that. it's basically like sports have laws that you can't do because it's in the rules, but you can't do things that you can't do because you're not allowed in the yeah. game. Like you can't handball a ball in FIFA because it's, there's no button for it. Whereas in soccer, you can. So you're saying Melee, they can always push the boundaries. Yeah. Because there is no... You can break the rules. The game, yeah. Yeah, the, the rule is the game. Yeah. And the game is the rules or something like Not that. Not to bring it back to UFC, but that's what's good about nah, UFC go. as well, is they constantly discover new tech. Yeah, sure. Because it's like, I figured out a new way to like break this or like I could do that. in the head at a better angle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like stuff like that. Like the tech for UFC is constantly evolving. Like, Give me an example. I don't... Recently, calf kicks have become a huge thing where like you kick someone's calf and like throughout the match it just gets like worn down there's lots of new jujitsu like skills of like different ways to choke people and like stuff. you can yeah. chip away at different parts of people's endurance and stuff you know yeah what I mean? like there could be a strategy where you literally constantly run away until they're tired and then you get one hit or you could just go balls to the wall like but in a uh, in other things you know yeah like if jujitsu used to be like the most powerful thing and then now, like, wrestling has kind of become, like, the best strategy to have. I don't know. It's just, like, constantly... It's, it's like meta. It's similar to Melee, where there is no, like, defined yeah, yeah, yeah. rule, really, so you, you know can what, keep evolving. Yeah. You know what is very interesting? You don't really have sex tech, because... <laughs> Why is that it's interesting? Like to, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain. Like, pulls out a rule book. <laughs> Let me <laughs> Sorry, explain. Not allowed. Doggy <laughs> Styles banned as of last week. <laughs> Not on Tuesdays, you can't be doing that. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Put got, your dick away. <laughs> the Insta coming tech got banned last week. <laughs> but oh, because shit. it's like taboo, to, it's like you never really talk to your mates. Like, So say you're like playing footy, you're like, oh, like I figured out this new like trick that helps me handball. Yeah. Do you ever talk about your mates like uh, in terms of sex? But, like, no. Imagine if everyone shared sure. all their knowledge on their like sexual... Experience. I'm sure you could find that somewhere. Then, like, the meta would evolve and everyone would probably end up happier. Yeah, but you don't know if it's good advice because people say a lot of shit. Yeah. Which is oh, not yeah. true. But in, like, you know, if you're, like, out at a footy, like Zach's example, and you try it out, you're like, oh, shit, you're yeah. right. You're not just going to, like, bring your girlfriend over and be like, hey, check out this check new out tech. This, yeah. Like... <laughs> Also, it's a bit harder to tell if something definitely worked or not with people, I feel like. Yeah, and it's also... Mm. And everyone's different. Yeah, everyone's That's different. Mm. I, I, I think this is a good idea. Um, sex tech. I, I we desperately need some sex tech. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm asking for, guys. I'm, I'm very behind on the meta. My dick's underpowered. It's, <laughs> I need a serious buff. <laughs> you start joking, bro. The so worst, the worst part Have is- you not heard of joking? <laughs> Oh Clearly my god! Not. They haven't released a patch since I was fourteen. Well, this is, <laughs> this is the patch. Joking, look it up. Joking. I'll let you do your own no, research. It. Okay. It's basically penis stretches that All makes right. it bigger. <laughs> 
<laughs> Surely that's not real. Look it up right <laughs> now. Do you do it? It's real. No, I have not done it before. <laughs> well, too big, like, yeah. Too big, yeah. I just didn't think that you it didn't sounded. Know, you were <laughs> <laughs> reverse choking. Yeah, yeah. I can now insert my penis inside of myself. <laughs> um, so that's what I've been up to in sex tech. What about you guys? <laughs> um, oh, my parents <laughs> listen to this. <laughs> And my sister. <laughs> so nothing well, to report. They made you, so maybe ask them for some sex tech. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah clearly that. whatever they did worked. Well, they're divorced, here. so maybe they didn't. Oh, anyway. Still maybe worked. they need some tech. Yeah. All right. All right next, <laughs> <laughs> next time I see your parents, it's going to be so awkward now. <laughs> Oh, Anyone God. got anything else? Eddie sex going tech. On? Eddie sex. <laughs> well, hey, so let's just round this off with our guys. Leave your number one tech tip in yeah. the comments below. <laughs> we Except might get demonetized. You have to phrase it like a video game thing, so nice. that like if we don't get demonetized, oh. so it's like mm. uh, mix up your approach angles, like some That's good. shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise them by attacking from behind. Oh, oh my God. Um. <laughs> okay, back to the band, the Steve band. Back to BTS. Yeah. <laughs> No, oh yeah, no, so no. if the uh, if the poor podcast editor wants to make a highlight of us talking about the BTS, <laughs> <laughs> man, because like our last time we, when we talked about Panda, that's our most successful highlight. Yeah, sure. So this would make a great highlight, but holy <laughs> shit, this is a mess. It went from BTS to joking <laughs> to Morgan Freeman <laughs> <laughs> and stuff in between. So on the Steve ban, I was going to ask you guys, yeah. what you would ban from other things in life. It doesn't even need to be a sport. It doesn't need to be a video game. Fueling up your car, it's got to go. It's got to go. It's got to be like you ban one thing yeah. out of a whole range of things. I can't think of anything on top of my head, but it would definitely be something social. If you took me to a party, I could have a list of 10 in an hour. Dude, How what about, about something that people talk about, like a form of small talk? Yeah, this is that's what I mean. Oh, Take me there with a notepad right. and I'll find you 10 things. Like asking about how, like, what you do for work or something. Like, yep. come up with a better question. That's bad. That's you bad. know, when you meet someone, like, be like, ah, so what do you do? That is hard, though. Yeah, but just ask but them something wild. Think, it'll be more yeah. fun. I definitely do that, but it, it, it is difficult to think of things. Hey, how's it going, Zach? Yeah. Oh, Gerald, uh, would you rather have forks for hands or knives <laughs> for feet? <laughs> do you joke, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this is insta instantly ten times more interesting. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Got any oh, sex yeah. tech? <laughs> work in finance. Yeah, like, yeah. Which conversation would you rather have? I don't want to have the "What do you do for work?" chat one more time in my life. I don't think I do mm. either, especially and when it's our work. I'm yeah. a perpetrator <laughs> of doing this because I don't know what else to say. Yeah, it's tough. It's it's hard. So we just got to ban it and. And we can think of new things. Yeah, because one, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. Mm. We you should ban it for yourself. Maybe yeah. I will, and just see how you go. That's ban. good. And, and then when they say it as well, good. you say, <laughs> "What's what's something that will instantly make them change topic?" When uh, they say, "What do you do for work?" Just something. Them. Start talking about joking, bro. <laughs> yeah. What do you do for work? You just say. Like, it can't be interesting. You can't be like, I'm a male stripper. I feel like accounting is the classic answer that yeah. no one cares about. True, that's good. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm an accountant. Yeah, and they're like, okay, no further questions. Ah, so. Yeah, <laughs> true. Numbers, money. Do any uh, spreadsheets? <laughs> yeah, I would... <laughs> it's a shit question because a lot of yeah. people have not super interesting answers because, like, there's more to life than work. Yeah. You know what I actually recently re realized? This is a bit of an offshoot. But the way I was watching a TV show, it's actually quite funny. It's on Netflix. It's um, How to Build a Sex Room. God, I've watched that. It's pretty funny, right? There's some good sex tech in that one. I tell you what. Well, there you go. There is sex oh. tech. There. It's so fucking awkward. It's really funny because it's just these couples and this 50-something-year-old lady comes in and she's like, I heard you want a sex room. And she's British and B British people are funny. Hang on. <laughs> What is the Wait, I think okay. I've seen a couple she's, of a, she's an interior designer. Right. And she started for this show specializing in making specific rooms oh, in people's houses as for like sex. for sex. Sex. Whether that's like a dungeon or like a nice retreat. There's a lot of different sex rooms in this show. Yeah. But anyway, I thought it was very funny. And just this is not actually relevant to my story, so I'm gonna shut up about the sex room, but sex tech is right. Funny. You're watching the sex um, room show. The way that someone's um occupation is so part of their identity. Uh-huh. And so, like, she goes up, and it's especially true of men, more so. Sure. Because, like, your work is a big part of what you do. Okay. And she goes, like, she meets a couple. She goes to the ladies, like, oh, what do you do for, like, what do you do in your spare time? What do you do for work? Yeah. And she's like, I do this. And she's like, uh, she goes, what is it the expression? It's like, oh, and what are you? What it's are what you? are you? That's and he's like, great. oh, I don't count it. It's like, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh. It's like, yeah, it's like, I, <clears throat> pardon me. 
a man's more likely to say, I'm a firefighter. Yeah. Rather than someone says, like, I do firefighting. Yeah, yeah sure. It's like, do you know my, what I mean? My job is YouTube, but I am a disappointment to my family. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's completely different. But I thought that was quite crazy. Yeah. yeah, people do just work so much, though, that it's like... But I think there's more is. aspects to a person. So let's stop oh, asking yeah. people what they are and what they do. Let's start asking what they think of jelking. That's great. Exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah. that is we banned, it out. asking about work. That's good. Wait, let's we, do it. Let's we, all ban ourselves from asking anyone that for a month and we'll report back. Yeah, we, won't, mean, we won't report back, but we'll say we will. For that one we'll person that, that you talked to, Jackson. Yeah. Can, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I asked the one person. Yeah. Fuck. We are going to circle back to this sex room show later in the podcast. But for now, anything you'd ban, Jordan? Um, oh, yes. I actually can't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, so that's boring. Uh, what about tall people from basketball? Yes. <laughs> Okay, okay, I like it. Bring the hoop down a couple yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should ban just height in general. Oh, like we're all the same. So Hang on, am I, does that mean I'm dead or... A, <laughs> I haven't worked through it yet. Yeah. Um, it's called genocide. <laughs> <laughs> but like maybe we should just level the playing field so like you... Uh, I get stilts. <laughs> or a bit. Oh, okay. Like oh, everyone like gets... Shoes. Few, shoes. Everyone gets shoes. So you would come in with like... So everyone's as tall as the tallest person. So even I would have stilts. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back. Not everyone is tall as the tallest person. But how are you, you going to cut their legs? How about everyone's as tall as the average person? But what, that's well, how, how are you, you, you going to cut their knees off or something? How are you going to make me shorter? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's well, then, rough. Do you realise the tallest person is pretty tall? Yeah, that'd yeah, be but cool. We can we all be that be tall. Alphas. No, but then doors nah, would fundamentally being be... Being that tall would not be fun. You okay. couldn't go through any... You'd have to rework every door on the planet. Every yeah. car. Yeah. You couldn't buy small cars. Yeah. What a waste to the well, environment. You gave me five seconds to come up with this No, thing, we've so had a bit more than that. Okay, yeah. Tear seconds. apart. Also, Rip him down. I came up with it for you, <laughs> you dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's happened? You've come up with something and then roasted me for it. No, no because you I started explaining with... how you would do it and it was not oh, very okay. good. So we said ban tall people from basketball. You said fucking give everyone stilts. They're different <laughs> things. But how do we make people shorter without hurting them? Why do you have to make people shorter? Why don't you just ban tall people? The idea was better and you changed it and made it worse. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Just if you're over six foot, you can't play basketball anymore. How tall are you? 5'11". Oh, you're perfect. Yeah. You're one of the best players around now. Exactly. I think we need to ban those dog breeds, like pugs and that, the ones that can't oh, breed. Please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Yeah. Let's do that. Maybe just like any overly genetically modified dogs. But, yeah. you know, the cutoff point is like right after golden... <laughs> golden retriever poodle which is what ollie is <laughs> yeah isn't you know it? but what? further than that no they i die. reckon the the cutoff should be what the average number of years of lifespan that that dog breed gets and okay wow. so it has to be at least seven years old or, oh, i mean yeah like, whatever or like what i'd have to do, look at the numbers but like you know I the think more 10's a good number yeah maybe if it's less know. than that then ban that breed for sure but what if that's just how long it's always lived for Oh, we're talking about ones that have been mixed though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Like, you know, Did they not realise that they were evolving dogs? Wait, they were doing it on purpose. No, but didn't Darwin only figure out evolution not long ago? And then they're like, hang on. Uh, you're co- evolution and crossbreeding are kind of different things. No, but they did, they did all come from no, one type all came of dog. From Grey Wolf. Oh, I sure. I see what you're saying. Domesticating was kind of evidence that Darwin used. Ah. They didn't realize the mechanics of it or whatever. So I don't know. They didn't realize it was from a Grey Wolf. That's though. actually a very good question, Jordan. Mm. You know what I mean? They're like, they've got this dog. I'd be quickly repackaging that as the question I of the we week. High fiving. <laughs> and we can. Um, so. <laughs> You know, oh, audio listeners. You, you, you hear a soft missed, clap. That was very the awkward. Obvious high five. It wasn't a shake. Fucking, was it a dap up? Jordan's got kind was. of a wet hand, and a it was very hands. limp. Yeah. it was very Just, flaccid. No, my wrist was a bit cocked, wasn't it? Cocked as cocked as gelled, gelled as. wrist. But you know what I mean. You're Jackson, uh, fucking claw grip. Yeah, lobster grip. grip. Lobster, lobster grip. grip. Jelk man. <laughs> <laughs> Sex tips. Anyway, what were you saying? Short man. Um. So. <laughs> I was just saying, so they constantly were evolving dogs, but they didn't know every time. Yeah, that's a great point. They were just yeah. like, oh no, this is this dog. This is this dog. What's going on with this one? And it kept changing. And they're like, no, this is what it's always yeah, been. Okay. And then Darwin's like, no, it's been a wolf. Yeah. I think oh. that maybe they thought that within dogs, but they didn't realize that every animal would have come from the same thing. Like they're like, yeah, dogs can get a bit different, but yeah. then didn't realize that, you know. I wonder. Dogs and cats were the same very thing 60 million thing years ago. Yeah. That's so recent, yeah. It's because I read a children's book at the shop the other day. 
This is called Charles Darwin. <laughs> Did you just go to the library and look at picture books? No, no, no. <laughs> Ho- we were at Kmart and Holly was like buying shorts. So then she was in She the dropped you off at the kids' book section. <laughs> well, the I'll cha- pick you up for 10 minutes, the sweetie. Room was right next to the kids' section. So I thought I'd read a kids' book. Oh, and it was man. Darwin. The I adult books can't have been far away. <laughs> <laughs> You can't read the whole thing, no. Yeah. Oh the my Darwin god! The Darwin was a real quick. Oh, so read. you went? I just get a quick pamphlet in, and it was like a little, a little cardboard book about Darwin, and he was like, "He's in like 1830." Yeah. Sure. He, okay. he was like, "This evolves." Yeah. And I was like, "Wait a second, dogs were around before that." Yeah. It's actually a pretty good question. I rate so, that. Mm. There you Are go. you repackaging? Really Any as people from the 1800s want to leave a comment for us? <laughs> Let us know what you thought about dogs back then. <laughs> Right, I think so, that is a better question of the week. So non-breathing dogs banned. Yeah, can I um ban uh, lights that are yellow? Yeah. Like, Wait, what do you mean? You know, when you like go to someone's house, you turn on the light and it's just this really yellow light. Oh, I like that. Oh, Isn't that sorry, bad for it's banned. You? I'm sure lots of people like Steve. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, why lights are bad for you? Jackson, you're like a cool light main and you're like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hang on. No, I'm banning overly warm lights. I don't like them. Honestly, oh, no, you're a warm light main. Yeah, I'm a warm light. He's a cool light. I like a bit of a warm light. Is like, have you ever taken a photo in a warm lighting thing and you're just like, ugh. I guess, I but I'm like not worried about taking photos. In my, I want to feel comfortable. Like filming and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's different. I think in like places like this, a studio makes a lot of sense to have white lights for sure. Yeah. Wouldn't have yellow ones in here, but in like a, even the lounge room, when I've got like a. Yeah, especially if you go into bed, they're pretty good. Yeah. They don't. Yep. But I don't care. I'm up. banning it. Yeah, I know. It's just, <laughs> so it's, it's tough, banned. but it's fair. <laughs> Damn, I didn't realize we could just ban things when other people didn't agree. Well, that's how it works, right? That's kind of yeah. how it works. Yeah. yeah. I, I might be, you know, in the minority, but. I hold the power in this situation that we've yeah, made you up. You asked so. the question and you've yeah, answered. We, we can't do much about it. I'm gonna sure, ban, lots of people like pugs. <laughs> I'm going to ban those fuckers that purposely go in the left lane as far as they can and then merge and like squeak, try to force their way in. You know oh, how there's uh, one lane of traffic is really backed up because yeah. it's like a turning or an exit lane. Yeah. yeah. One of them is going straight, yeah. so it's not got any traffic in it. Someone will go all the way up as far as they can, then just put their indicator and on just and wait. be like, I'm going to get in a crash or yeah. you move. Yeah, mm. I actually had someone do that to me for the first time where they just barged in and if I'd kept driving, I would have crashed into yeah. them. And like they knew what they were doing. It wasn't like, normally I see people being stupid drivers because they're stupid. Yeah, This person was just a straight up dick. Yeah, And then like I put the horn on because they're literally, you know, causing a dangerous yeah. thing. And they just like give me the finger and drive off. And I'm just like- Alfred. If I, <laughs> if, if I hit you here- Yeah. It's on your insurance. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're you're relying on the fact that I don't want to go through the trouble of yeah, that. Which is it won't annoying. cost me anything. Mm-hmm. I should have just hit them. Mm. I reckon. Well, next, next time. time. There's always next I'm time. I'm banning yeah. you not hitting them. Oh, so <laughs> you have to, you have to hit them you now. Because it's going to be a bit of an inconvenience to me. You know what mm. I mean? Like it'll kind of ruin my day, but yeah. it's going to ruin their day more and they did deserve it. Yeah. So I might just do it next time. I love that they gave you the finger. It's like, no, fuck you. It's yeah. like, what? <laughs> you <laughs> made on, a mistake. What? Yeah. But it wasn't a mistake. It was an intentional thing. Yeah, move. that's true. Yeah. What yeah. even happens if that happens? Like they hear your car, then what? You got to talk to people. Then do you, do you want to talk insurance? about this on the podcast? <laughs> Sorry. I just like, <laughs> do you understand how yeah. insurance claims work? Do you want to go into that? On the Actually, next no, topic? wait, I forgot. My car got hit by a bus and I did it. It was annoying. Yeah. All right. Well, that's moving cancelled. On. Moving quick. on, moving on. It is annoying, right? But yeah. like you didn't have to pay anything. Yeah, but it was a lot of but time. But it's a big pain in the ass. Get a new car if it gets totaled. Yeah. Can we have a break on each other toilet? Uh, I mean, you can go. You can just leave. Right. We can talk One about sec. car insurance. <laughs> <laughs> go for number two then. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been seeing some crazy drivers lately. I don't know if it's because I've been doing more driving, but people just suck at it so much. Yeah. I was in, I was in a two lane, like two way street. One lane each way. Oh, yeah. Two lanes. Someone thinks it's a two lane one way, oh, changes no. lane over into oncoming traffic. Oh God. And then is driving along, la da 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 cars start coming the other way and they're like in the car in front of me and I'm just like on the horn being like, wake the oh, fuck up. So you you yelled that. No, I'm just like <laughs> on the horn and they're just like, ooh, like back into the like one way. I'm just like, how stupid can you be? Damn. Like, that's scary. Actually. Yeah, it is. And then literally I was in the same car trip as someone who just like went into a roundabout in front of me while I'm going around it and like not giving way correctly oh. in a roundabout and just driving in front of me and I have to slam on the brakes. Honestly, I'm impressed by how good people are at driving cars it's and not- everyone following these rules that is we've it, made up. Is it that hard? I mean, it's just like everyone does it. Because if you don't, you die. Yeah, yeah, there's true. a lot of really stupid people. 
and then it's like, well, they managed to figure it out too. Everyone drives cars, yeah, yeah. which is pretty impressive. Do you yeah. guys do the thing where you drive past, uh, if you see someone being a really bad driver, you try to get a squiz at them on the way past so oh, that you can yeah. judge them? Sometimes, yeah. I do sometimes that every time. I literally look. did that on the way here. And I was just like... What, mm. sort of, what sort of hit rate do you get on your predictions? Because I'm either like... You know, you can kind of tell, like, really slow. You're like, they're old. Old, yeah. Mm. It's like swerving fucking side to side. You're like, they're probably on some shit. Yeah. You can maybe look in and see Meth their head. eyes wide open and <laughs> blood red. It's pretty funny because, like, I, I want to keep driving properly, so I don't want to look. So I always tell Sophie if she's in the passenger seat. I'm like, hey, tell me what person that was. Details. Tell me, uh, were they old? Tell me. <laughs> ah, you see, I just set the Tesla to drive itself. And ah, then I oh, very set wise. up a hammock, some popcorn, <laughs> take a good squeeze. Nice. But, yeah, I, I think the hit rate is pretty pretty high for me. The person today was just literally like, they were being super slow, 20 something year old bloke. And I was like, oh, I guess I should take my stereotypes and take them away. They were high. <laughs> they were high. Yeah. Man, it's, it's just so painful. It's Sm just so painful. Smoke some chuff and then now they're way too slow. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to be too cautious. <laughs> Analyzing every, every inch of the road being like, oh God. <laughs> Um, um, I'm banning Jax's toilet breaks, by the way. Why? It's almost every podcast these uh, days. I, I have a small bladder. I think I need to go to the hospital. I Not the hospital. <laughs> just the doctor. <laughs> doctor. I think, um, having to go to the bathroom all the time is an early sign of diabetes. Oh, brilliant. So, <laughs> you must be fun at parties. <laughs> what do you ask people what they do for work? <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, having a, maybe, I don't know, is it sugar in your urine? So oh. it's diabetes. So give it a taste next time. I won't. But I'll get it. I'll get someone to test <laughs> it. Get a for doctor me, to though. taste it. No, yeah. no, have a taste. I'll, I'll Save yourself it. a doctor's trip. Yeah, I, I have problems with my bladder. I always need to wee. Mm. Oh. It's a disaster. I've had some really bad Probably shits sugar. lately. Should I do the taste test as well? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So if it's just sugar in the shit, is that a problem? Uh, probably actually. It means you're not absorbing all your nutrients. You probably have diarrhea. What if you're just eating a lot of sugar? I think you probably absorb it anyway. It's pretty dissolvable. Sugar's so fucking easy for your body to like oh, okay. absorb and use. Oh, that's great. Why'd and they then do like that? it'll absorb it no matter what. And then if you have too much, it's just like that's turns it into fat. That's right. Why. That'd be pretty crazy. And then, Do you reckon yeah. that'll be easy to change in the future? Like they just change bodies so they don't absorb sugar, and then we can just eat lots. I of I think it'd be sugar. easier change, to change the sugar. Change bodies. <sighs> Are we like crossbreeding humans? Genetics. How, how do we get here? Genetics. You know, bit of yeah, bit of genetic modification. Yeah. No, actually. I did a sponsorship for Magic Spoon recently right. mm -hmm. and they have like zero sugar while still being sweet by using a special type of sugar that you can't digest. Oh, smart. So they're kind of already on that train, but just oh, the other so way around. So you can taste it, but not okay, digest. Yeah, yeah, it's still easier. sweet. It's called, cool. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to get on the advertising train. That's Actually, that video doesn't have that many views. I might as well plug them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow, you're... you're um, What's it called? Like follow through clicks on the link. Yeah. Really picked up after <laughs> wow, this. Wow, people use it. your code? code? Yeah, it's code Hopcat. I might use it. I wanted to try it. Hello, Spoon. You can Magic What's it called? Magic, Magic Spoon. You can try, I, have, I, have, I have some more. You can try oh, mine sick. if you want. Yeah, I wanted to check like that it. out. I saw that. Or you can buy using code Hopcat, actually. I might use code Hopcat on the <laughs> website, www. <laughs> yeah. No, but they do have stuff like that already, Jordan. So Bro, there, you while, go. While, there you go. While we're on the plugging our sponsorships train, HelloFresh was not happy with me delaying my chess video. So please go click my link. Oh, <laughs> you actually I did love HelloFresh. I've yeah. used it for like actually a long time. Yeah, like, that's tasty. I think when that chess video goes viral, mate, then they'll be fucking rolling. They'll be so happy with you. So don't actually, worry about yeah, it. Yeah, I wanted HelloFresh to sponsor me like three years ago, and then they finally did. And then I was like, hey, can you guys wait like uh, almost two months? <laughs> Dude, we <laughs> literally when we agreed on. We went up to a HelloFresh thing in the shops, you know, when they have like a little it's table sure. set up. Yeah, and like asked them how we, who we can get in contact with to get sponsored. Right, we still didn't get anything. Like we wanted this desperately. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Like to be like, hey, can we try and get this sponsor? Because they were just at the local shops. Wait, so how did we get it? Oh, wait, how did you get it? We just through our management agency. Oh. They finally actually had like a campaign that right. fit us or whatever. Turns out 20 something year old guys <laughs> are not the best at communicating with big agencies and brands. Mm. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. They didn't respect us that much. And it's like, it's like the same thing when I was trying to get into the after party. I'm like, I swear I'm a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> but there's just nothing you have to back it up. Did you speak about that last week? Yeah, I yeah. did. Yeah. That was very funny. I've yeah, never really grim. tried to use my clout for anything. Apart from when we went into that festival and we sort of had to. But yeah. like, how, how often do you guys ever pull up your YouTube in public? Well, I don't have any clout, so never. No, you do. You're like a big part of this underdog's channel. Oh, that's and it's fair. Like, that's you fair. know, you definitely do. But like, do. compared to you guys, I definitely don't. It's back to that asking about your job thing. I yeah. will try to avoid mm. mentioning that I do YouTube oh, yeah. for as long as possible. Not because like... I'm ashamed or anything of it. It's the follow-up questions it's, that I've been through a hundred times. It's never a simple, oh, 
Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. It's, 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 I really, it sounds entitled, but it's annoying. Yeah. I appreciate people's in like interest because it's probably something that's very rare to like meet. For everyone else, YouTube. it's like the first yeah. time ever hearing it, so it's very interesting. But for us, it's like time a thousand. Yeah, like that's what everyone questions. is with their job, which is why it's banned. You just mm. gotta stick to what my grandparents do, which is like, oh, how's the YouTube going? I'm like, good. They're like, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's my Ooh. parents as well. Yeah, no <laughs> brilliant. More, no more questions. Any vids on the way? My nah. parents are more into it because they're a bit more tech savvy, mm. but the, I think the relatives not so much. My dad loves the whole angle of it being my own business thing. Yeah, he's oh, like, ah, oh, bit of entrepreneur. an entrepreneur. Good on you, good on your son. <laughs> he's always like, ah, oh, how's the business going? You know, he's never like, how's the YouTube going? He's like, how's the business going? And that I'm is like, great. Good dad, got a sponsorship, but he's like. Like, oh, beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'll be reacting to the sexiest Smash Bros. TikToks. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he watches a couple of the real life ones occasionally, so he kind of yeah. knows what it is, but it's Very just cool. funny that he loves the angle of it being like this yeah. entrepreneur thing. Because he wanted to be to be like a lawyer at some point. You know, he wants to be successful. Sure. You know what I mean? Oh, mm-hmm. what real life video did we do this week? I think it was the... Um, we had Pokemon, chase. Pokemon the, the chase. chase. There were a bit <laughs> oh, of controversy classic. in the comments. I think I messed up the correct answers to some of the questions. No, you, <gasps> sure no, no I, I did. The people were fully embracing the um actually in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was 100 and something pieces of Pokemon trivia. Um actually. <laughs> yeah, do you, do you guys, re- like it goes pr- by pretty fast in the video, but I think I had to think of like 150 Pokemon questions. Yeah. So at some point I was just like Googling like fire type and then like scrolling, something would pique my interest. I'm like, oh, Ponyta, like when does that evolve? Yeah, sure. Stuff like that. And then, but I would like check most of them on Google and then it was like, what can be found on Mirage Island? And it said like Mew and Jirachi, but then someone was like, that's only in like one version or something. It's like, you can only find uh, wine water. Some stupid shit. And yeah, I'm like, people, do you have a life? <laughs> the people being like, you're like, there was one about which one sells for the most out of the items. And they're like, nuggets aren't 5,000, they're 10,000 ass of Pokemon Legends yeah, Arceus. Sure. And I was like, yeah, but on all these other ones, like things change for all the different games. Yeah. So like, yeah, you, if you're trying to ask a general question, nothing's ever general because there's so many instances of it. Yep. Oh, it's a pain in the ass. That no video, I was thinking about the other day, how perfect the cast was. Like Peter is very lucky. Peter is very good at Pokemon. I was good enough to actually be competitive, and then you and Sophie like both knew enough that we actually could compete. But yeah, also enough on different topics. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Like Sophie, because all her experience comes from Pokemon Go. Yeah. So like the names of Pokemon and their types yeah. and things that are relevant to Pokemon Go, yeah. she knows. But anything to do with like items from the game, yeah. nothing. No, you no know idea. what I mean? Yeah. And then like you had a different set of like things, and Jordan had a different set of things, more like the earlier ones. Yeah. Where you had more like Gen Four and Five. Yeah. So it was it was interesting. Like it was that. good. But Jackson does have a <laughs> segment, I believe. Yeah, I do. I'm now I'm a little bit concerned we talked about last week, but the Roll Dial thing with uh, changing all the books that we haven't talked Who about. I don't think we did. Perfect. Have you heard about this? I have. No. They are recontextualizing the Roll Dial books to say different words. Wait. I like know the that there's an orange, big orange apricot. Oh, James the, the Giant up. Page. That one. Um, <laughs> That's so, what they're changing oh, it to. So close. I think since this story broke, the outrage over it has meant that they changed it, they're not actually going to do it now. Oh, Wait, because Wait, can someone give me an update? Fast. So basically- Let uh, me just get like a little example. I'll, I'll jump on top of it. So like before Roald Dahl, he would describe people in great detail and not necessarily be particularly nice about it. And so like he mm-hmm. would call people ugly and yes. fat and stuff and they've mm-hmm. just removed all that stuff basically. And because it's not nice and it's in the age of, you know, PC. political correctness, mm-hmm. you're not allowed to call people ugly I, anymore. I feel like, there's a point where it's got to stop. Like calling people fat is not nice. It's going to hurt people's feelings. Yeah. But what if they are fat? Describing a character as fat yeah, doesn't book? fucking hurt anyone. Yeah. Is this a book? Yeah. A fictional book. Augustus Gloop is now enormous instead of fat. Mrs. Twit is no longer ugly and Oompa Loompas are gender neutral. Wait. Yeah, they're like I'm the lost. cloud men from James and the Giant Peach are cloud people. Oh, interesting. I'm like, okay. That only... Does that do anything? Doesn't matter. Wait, there's cloud men in this giant peach thing. Yeah, the peach flies up. It gets a bunch of oh, ropes. Did you guys read Roll Dahl? I did <laughs> yeah, a lot all of it. I yeah. had a I had a full collection of all this. The box thing, set. Like a gi- no, it was like a giant singular book. Oh, it was fat as hell. That's this cool. Big ass book. Oh, so I've read wow. a lot of them. That's gonna be worth a lot of money now. No, I don't know where it is now. Damn. <sighs> yeah, anyway, Peter's Pokemon. got the old text. Yeah, but like the old test. And also with this, when they when they're describing these people mm. they're always the bad characters yeah and it's like okay they're like shitty people who deserve to yeah be so ugly. it's like the bond villain's not going to be evil anymore yeah is it just books that this is going to happen to do you think this has got any weight to holding to 
Like, wait, so is this all about? Sorry, you finished. No, 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 that's oh, right. Is this all about their looks? That they're changing? Uh, I think some of the traits, from what I read or their I remember, are different I don't, too. Oh, they. I think the traits that they changed were ones that were specifically gendered ones. Sure. Like calling people like a witch or something like as a negative thing. Like, I, I think there was one to do with. Bruh. I think I, I could be right. I'd, I'd appreciate it if you found this example. Yeah. It was. I, I don't. I've I don't got really one remember. here. I've got a couple here. So in the witches, a paragraph explaining that the witches are bald beneath their win- wigs ends with the new line. There are plenty of other reasons why women might wear wigs, and there is certainly nothing wrong with that. That's what they've added on. Oh, wow. oh so they're saying it's it's like you know they're, they're, saying they're getting all Will Smith on them and saying like it doesn't matter. if Yeah, they're bald. if you wear a wig, that's okay. You know what I mean? It, the, the character had a wig, and they're like, it, but it's okay to have a wig. That's kind of the whole. Because it was making mm. fun of witches for being bald under their wig. Yeah. Like, no, it's okay to be bald. Yeah, that's if you kind got, of if the you got alopecia. Did he make fun of them, though, or did he just say they were bald under their wigs? Because I think if it's a statement like that, if it's like they look like fucking idiots because they were bald, then that's different. But if he's just saying, like. Wait, can you do this? You can just change someone's books? Is he uh, dead now? Well, it's like to the publishers. He is dead now. It's the publishers. publisher owns it, right? It's like with music, how the, part, oh, the wow. record label owns the music. That's so sad and you that can just he's change. Dead and it, like if you don't, their, I guess so. You'd roll in your grave at this stuff, right? Like I would for sure. Like you well, write think, your stuff for a reason, right? It's yeah, kind of like and the, I think um, the history is should be left alone almost. What's uh, something that you think we say today that we think is not going to be okay in the future? Do you think like joking? Um, about anything is going to be allowed. Like humor is going to have to be so evolved that it's not about anything. No, I think you've reached a certain point and we're like, we're nearing that and then it like, it goes back because people, yeah, like that's... at first it's like, everyone's like, uh, it's got to reach a certain point where the majority is like, yeah. nah, that's not good. Yeah. I think the issue- oh, That was very badly explained. I think I know what you mean. I think the issue is because there's- you can joke about things that everyone knows is a joke, but then when there's some truth to it, it doesn't work. Like say, yeah, that's if a true. black person wore white, like a white face, yeah, is nothing because there's no history behind it. Well, it's all depend on context. Yeah, yeah. no, but not not even just context. Oh yeah, like but not in the moment context, but yeah. like past historical context. context. Yeah. So I think once we would need to get to a point where everyone's kind of chill with each other, and then they can all because like with, when you're with your friends and you know you're chill with each other, you go. You can go at it. Yeah. Well, so, here's yeah. here's a thought for you, Jackson. Yes. So sorry, Jordan. You and your friends just what, go. Yeah. Yeah. Black yeah, face. Yeah, Peter, go on. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? No, no. <laughs> you were like, you can be chill with your friends <laughs> after just okay. using that example. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know what I mean, though. No. Yeah. Do you think that with this roll <laughs> dial stuff, do you think that in let's say twenty years time, mm. we're gonna go full circle to being completely unpolitically correct again? Um, I don't know. I, I, don't think, I do hope think it's only only one way. I hope that it, we go the way of the Warner Brothers thing, where it's it's a product of its time. Yeah, but the point of I guess is I that they're that still on- selling it now, and you can buy a Roald Dahl book, and you, the, the kids thing. can pick it up and read it. And it's like this is not this is teaching kids different things. I am explaining mm-hmm. the other side of the argument. It's not really what I think, but it's like it's teaching kids things that perhaps is not really a part of the time now. But like, what if you could put that on tweets? Like well, someone, says the, <laughs> someone says the N word five years ago, but it's like, ah, oh, it was a product of its time. <laughs> it's a bit like the coronavirus tweets when you tweet a like misfact, and yeah, then like yeah. a tr- all of Trump's tweets in the election and yeah. coronavirus would just have a big disclaimer underneath it. Yeah. I mean, it's like some of these examples are over the top, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Matilda in Matilda, instead of saying mother and father, they said parents. Right. That seems ridiculous. Because it's like, well, parents don't have oh, to be a man and a woman. Sure, sure. But, but it's they, like they in were this in this case, situation. They were. In, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then like, I don't know this this one. I guess there could be something. The witches, uh, a supernatural female posing as an ordinary woman, maybe working as a cashier in a supermarket or typing letters for a businessman. That's somewhat sexist because it implies there's the only two jobs. That oh, a woman I can remember have. reading that one. Yeah, and then they've changed w- cashier in a supermarket or typing letters to a businessman to top scientist or running a business. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, okay. I, I, I see the point, but those examples are really shoehorned in. Yeah, don't you think that seems more offensive to me? Yeah, it's like, just like any other person as a top scientist. Yeah. It's like that, No not, one, not the average, <laughs> the average person is not a top scientist. No one's a top, what the hell is a top scientist? Yeah. <laughs> they could have just said scientist. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and running a business, a business person. Yeah. You know, why does mm. it have to go to the complete other end of the spectrum? Yeah, it's bizarre. It's, I don't know. I, 
I think this stuff's good. It's good to reflect, but I don't know if we need to change it. But we are selling it to the kids. Yeah, because it is something that's getting sold still. Well, yeah. that's, it's yeah. a republishing is what they're doing it. So, like, they, they know it's going to sell, right? Yeah. Oh, no, but I mean, like, even say some like, oh, it's fine, it's it's history, like, don't change it. But then it's, like, something you could still buy. Like, with the old Disney movies, I remember they changed because a lot of the Disney movies, the princesses would have, like, some black person following along, like, brushing their hair and stuff. And they've, oh, sure. they've taken all of that out. Right. Because you're still selling it as a movie that people can now buy. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Yeah, I think there's this is over the top, but there is a certain amount of this which is good. But then the, the thing at the sign of the times is also another really interesting point. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. you don't want to erase this history because then you can't yeah. understand the, I the think topic. that it's probably just not for kids. You know, like we probably have to change kids stuff because that is the tough one. Yeah, but Roald Dahl's our child's book. Yeah, so. yeah, that's what I mean. I feel like maybe it is the right thing to do for kids because it's hard to explain to a kid, oh, well, we used to be a little bit racist, Jimmy. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's yeah. some examples, but these ones, are, yeah, some of them are definitely bad. over the top. But it's, it's kind of like they were like, well, if we're, if we're going to change it, we're going to like, Upgrade so it lasts us five years. You mm-hmm. know, you don't want to get last year's phone because this year's phone. Oh, is interesting. Like, oh. This year's ethics will last you. You go, you go future. <laughs> oh, so it's like PC proof. proof for 2030. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you go a bit too far. With yeah. that said, right? Like you can say like, oh, not for the kids. And then people let their kids log into Fortnite and oh, then 100%. have some 20 year old person yell the n-word at yeah, them for yeah, an yeah. hour 100% it's like I don't think the Roald Dahl book is going to radicalise anyone yeah I don't think so as much as something like the internet yeah. is what, so what's your takeaway Jordan what's your in one sentence what's your takeaway from that um let's just be nice it's a pretty good takeaway <laughs> do you right. have a question of the week Jordan we, uh, we're getting close to the end right I do it's not a it's about the because I went to the sushi restaurant you always start so yeah. with it's not a great no, question but this could change the world just own it Jordan <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say Yeah okay Yeah go Hold on up. Do a bit of a boop, boop, boop. It's the public one Question of the week Yeah right Alright so I had a bit of a thought <laughs> On How we can advance Civilization Yeah Oh good Oh brilliant Another one of those When I went to the sushi bar Can't wait well, so I, I can wait Because you've led with It's a bad question <laughs> We'll wait till next week We cut yeah. that part out We cut that part out <laughs> Okay So when I went to the sushi bar And there was a, the robots And then they can be waiters Yep and so I was like, okay, we could we could have less waiters. We could make robots. Yeah. I think that as a civilization, we should focus on making robots just do like waiter stuff and put all our robot effort into that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, fuck anyone that's a waitress, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And then <laughs> <laughs> No, he's got a point. Go on. And then all these people who work at Takeaway, blah, 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 all of them could just be scientists instead. You're literally describing the Industrial Revolution. Mm. Oh, and you don't need to tip a robot. That's what I'm saying. No, because people are like, oh, no, there's going to be robots and then they're not going to be able to be a waiter. They're going to take all our jobs. But like back in the day, everyone was hunting food and then one person's like, I'm the farmer. But they, they all just did something else. Well, it's like nobody ever, like, I'm sure people at the time complained about, they're like, oh, a robot took my job at the baked bean factory. Exactly. Mm. Bean factory. Bean factory. But then nobody <laughs> ever, like, 50 years later was like, man, I wish I could do the job with this robot at the bean factory. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think people shouldn't be scared of robots <laughs> taking their, like, waitress job and, like, being a cashier and stuff. Because if all of those jobs are removed, everyone can, like, I don't know. Go yeah, to do, do other stuff. The only issue with it is how many people are in that line of work. So it can't happen yeah. all at once. But at the moment, a, a few places are doing it as a novelty. Maybe that'll move to like more and more places. And if it's like a slow takeover. Like self-checkout. Yeah, if it's if it's a slow takeover, then I'm sure they're not firing their waitresses when they get like robot things. They just work like the front of house or other things. Then eventually they might leave that job for something else. And then they're like, oh, we don't actually need someone at the front of the house because we've got robots. Mm. But I reckon eventually everyone will just be like a scientist. Chat GPT is like (laughs) people actually (laughs) using it to replace stuff. Yeah. Like office jobs and stuff. Yeah. Because you you can do it. And there's it's a really good way of making money. It's like an emerging field mm. yeah. of finding ways to make AI do the work of other people. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you know what is really good for chat GPT to help with? Uh, Maddie's mum is in HR, which we were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. And she always just complains about like, well, not like complains, but like, it must suck, like, all these people having issues with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's, like, very chill, and then, like, everyone's just, like, meh, 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 like, not getting along. And yeah. she's, like, I'm so sick of it. Yeah. And then Maddie went to chat GPT. She was, like, write a, like, 
letter from an HR rep about like this situation and it gave this entire like five wow. paragraph email and it was written in some of the best like most corporate you know how like whenever you write something like corporate it's just so annoying yeah, just corporate to make mumbo it, like, jumbo oh, yeah right. and it did all of that for you even if you replaced some of the words just like getting all the fucking bullshit trimmings that you need mm. to like oh i gotta specify this otherwise they'll get upset about this and this mm. yeah it's you could like, say r- mumbo jumbo. for stuff like that you could like write a very polite letter yeah. declining me going to this event yeah and it'll do it instantly for you and it'll be pretty good and you just read it over and you're like sweet Wow. Jackson never got any of them from you. <laughs> Maybe you should get <laughs> next, on The next GPT. one you get is going to be five paragraphs. Uh, so <laughs> I regretfully <laughs> inform. <laughs> write a five page essay. <laughs> the people are using it to re- like do their schoolwork school work, for them. Yeah. And it's pretty like, I don't know how people are going to deal with that because it isn't plagiarized because there's nothing. It's, it's just made, it's made it. It's not <sighs> stolen from anything. It's made it. So there's no plagiarism check on it. And I'm too like, bad as it's ever going to be. Yeah. It's only going to get way better. Yeah. No, like, I see. In terms of crazy writing. thought. Yeah. The, the quality is just going to improve. Like, this is the worst it could ever be right now. <laughs> and it's only going to go like. Pfft. It's very scary. AI. Yeah. You know what? The, the big yikes when you say, chat GBT, how do I make a better AI? And that it tells you how to do it and that it makes it. And well, then the fact that it you know, can now program is huge because programming has always been like just a huge thing. Oh, it can people. code? Yeah, like co- code a program that does this and it'll write it out it'll in just do code. It. Oh, and then you, you just say make a better AI than this and then it's a runaway effect because then that one makes a better one than it and that one makes it yeah. better. And then it literally becomes super intelligent instantly. Oh. But the fact that AI can program, I think is like insane. It's very scary. Yeah. So well, like we have creative jobs, scary. I think. And you can be a scientist. So we're all going to die to robot waiters. Legitimately, I think that AI might end humanity in like five years. Mm, it seems very possible. It's like not only possible, but also likely. Mm. Because like people are like, oh, but I'll just ask the AI to say, do it for humanity's sake. And it's like, well, how do you even define that? What is good? What is good for humanity? This is why we still need humans. How do you, how do you define that? Yeah. yeah. How do you stop the AI from just being like, well, this is for your own good. Mm, that's basically yeah, that's the plot true. of Terminator. Yeah. Because it's so, like- Well, we've seen that a, now. Yeah. You guys saw my presentation about mm, the uh, AI. They that's about to AI become scan. very <laughs> important. <laughs> it's a billion dollar idea again. That video is, is that video out? <laughs> yeah. No. No, it's not. Shark oh, is it Tank, not? Shark Tank 2 is now. That one's so- Is that this uh, week? Uh, I think yeah. it should be our next video. Oh, really? I watched oh, it. Oh, I probably went on the- If I make a thumbnail for it. It's oh, so funny. I can't wait for everyone to see that. But yeah, Maybe our best video coming out this oh, week. Oh, it's very the topical at the moment. Like, and yeah. then if you, if you think about, this is an example I heard in a podcast. Not this podcast. <laughs> a, a podcast made for smart people. <laughs> what do you mean not this podcast? No, this what podcast is for smart people. This is, you know, you, you get my point. You um, relay all the important facts to here. So yeah. you don't need to listen to Yeah, people. exactly. Yeah. Peter and it was basically reason. saying like, imagine like the smartest human. Yep. And then it's like trying to convince the world's smartest human to dedicate its entire life to the betterment of an earthworm of earthworm kind. Earthworms? Because that's where the earthworms and then the AI is going to be so much more intelligent than us than it's the human. But I think oh. at least AI... Anyway, how would an earthworm convince the world's smartest human to dedicate its entire life to saving earthworms? Yeah, because it would just dedicate its entire life to saving itself. It's no, gonna do it doesn't stuff. have that fundamental... I think that's the only thing that saves us. If humans have just... A, there's no reason for us to be alive, but we're like, let's keep us alive. And the, there's no fundamental... AI that's like keep itself alive. Not yet. It doesn't prioritize itself. So I yeah, think as you long as that's not a thing, we're say, all good. Say to a super intelligent AI one time, stop yourself from ever getting shut down. Mm. That's, what I mean. that's, that's the, the main factor. Once. Yeah. I think that's the, the main change. And anyone has access to AI. So Surely someone's, someone's do done that already. Yeah, but it's just not powerful enough to do it. Like there's no oh, stopping sure. that. Mm. We can just unplug it. Well, oh, shit. just turn off the power. Yeah. Smart. We're all going to die. Well, no, no, we're just going to unplug it. Unplug it. Zach, were you listening? Sorry. <laughs> this is a podcast it. for smart people. Sounds like the uh, plot of Terminator or something. Try yeah, to get yeah. into the secret headquarters. And Can just- we just make one big EMP that we could always hit if it gets too bad? No, just, just like, pull the plug. <laughs> no one's listening to me. Pull yeah, the plug. Pull out. the plug. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, There's yeah, a lot of plugs, right? There'll be a lot of plugs. Wireless charging. <laughs> Two plugs. I'll <laughs> uh, turn it off. Unplug it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that just about yeah. the end of the podcast? Yeah, I think that's it. I think Wait. Jax has made a dead end of for us. <laughs> just before we end, can we circle back to that sex <laughs> TV show? I like that she's British. What do you like about that? <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> oh, Have you stopped the recording, Zach? <laughs>